Hi guys, what's going on? I'm Matt Six here, and today I've got my first episode of FIFA 15 Potential Upgrades. But before I get into this video, if you click 20 likes, much, well, that would be much appreciated as it is my first video and it took a lot of effort to make these uh, cards and stuff like that. So, uh, let's get into the first player now. So, the first player we've got Eden Hazard. Uh, I've given him a plus one upgrade, I've also given him plus one pace, plus two dribbling, plus one shooting. I've kept his def defending the save. Uh, plus two passing and minus three heading. I've also kept his skills and weak foot the same. The reason I have upgraded Eden Hazard plus one is because last year he actually got the young PFA player of the year in the BPL and he also got 20 goals and 10 assists in all competitions which is really good for a left winger. I think he was an influential player for Chelsea uh, helping him get to the semi-final of the Champions League and actually coming in the uh, top four in the Premier League. So let's get into the second player now. So the second player now we're going to go for Antonio Gra Griezmann, is that's how you say it. He had a very, very good season last year for Real Sociedad. Uh, he ended up getting 22 goals and 3 assists, which is absolutely amazing for our left winger. Uh, he's already been upgraded on FIFA, like he was like 80 or something like that, and he also got a team this season in the La Liga. Uh, I've upgraded him by 1, I've given him a plus 2 pace, plus 2 dribbling, plus 2 shooting and plus 2 passing. Uh, I've also kept his skills the same and I've upgraded his weak foot by 1 as he actually scored quite a lot of goals with his weak foot and I thought it was fair to give him a, a plus 1 up on his weak foot. So his stats on uh, FIFA 15 will look good with that 87 pace and the 86 dribbling. It's going to be a really effective player and he does have that 4 star skill and 4 star weak foot. I think he will be a lot of coins on the next FIFA. So let's go on to the next player. Now, this will be the first downgrade of the episode. We're going to be going for Lovetsi. He hasn't had the best of seasons for PSG. He only scored nine goals and no assists uh, in the entire season, which is absolutely shocking for a left winger. He should at least be getting at least five assists. Uh, so that's why I've given him a minus one upgrade. But he has, I haven't uh, done his stats a lot down a lot. I've only given him a minus one pace, minus two dribbling, a plus one shooting and a minus one passing. The reason I give him minus one passing is because basically he has, he has had no assists so I don't deserve, don't think he deserves that 73, uh, 74 passing should I say. Uh, it's also got four star skill and four star weight foot, that's what I've kept the same. Uh, I would I would recommend Lovetsi moving clubs as he was absolutely amazing at Napoli. Him and Cavani was uh, ripping things up there. I think it's time for him to move on and go to a different team, preferably in the uh, Premier League. Now on to the, my favourite player of this episode, we're going to be going for Marco Royce. Uh, he's got 23 goals and 18 assists in all competitions for, in, for Borussia Dortmund, which is absolutely amazing. And he also got a team of the season in the Bundesliga. I think he was one of the best players in the Bundesliga last year. It's going to be a bit of a shame that Lewandowski has actually gone to leave to uh, Bayern Munich. Uh, but luckily, uh, Borussia Dortmund have actually signed two strikers, which is uh, Ramos and Immobile. So he might be able to get more of a assist next year as he's got two quality strikers coming in. So I've given him a plus two upgrade because I actually think he deserves it. But looking at his stats with an 85 rated card, do you think that was an 87 rated player? So I haven't uploaded his stats that much, but I've, I've uploaded it, upgraded his uh, card by two. So I've given him a plus one shooting and a plus two passing. People might think that I'm biased here, just giving him that upgrade, but looking at his stats, that looks like an 87 rated card anyway. So I've also kept his skills and the weak foot the same as. I don't think he's a five star skiller yet, but his weak foot is absolutely perfect. Now onto the final player of this episode, we're going to be going for Javinio. Uh, Javino had a really tough time at Arsenal last year, he, uh, he didn't actually have a really good season but then he moved to uh, Roma and he actually got 15 goals and 11 assists and the 11 assists I think were the most assists in the league which is absolutely amazing. That's why I give Javino a plus 3 upgrade, so he's got a plus 2 pa pace, plus 5, five shooting and plus 6 uh, heading and plus 2 passing. The reason I've done this is because he's, he's played absolutely amazing in uh, for Roma last year. Uh, when I was watching him, uh, he was absolutely ripping stuff up. He was taking people on, he was scoring from 30 yards, doing some amazing passes, and I actually think he was one of the best players for Roma, and that is the reason they came in the top two. And they had a really good season last year was Roma, good, good defensively and good attackively. So, that has been the episode for today, guys. If you could leave a like and a comment on the match, that would be absolutely amazing. And if you want to see episode two, just, just tell me in the comment section below and I'll try and make this happen tomorrow. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you all next time.